Oh my gosh. Can you believe that story? Wow. Right now, I have to point out it's just accusations, but the storyline itself, woo, five minutes after the hour. Um, okay, so weather-wise today, still obviously it's summer. Believe it or not, we have a lot of kids who have been back to school, and I think they're going to be sitting in some hot classrooms for a lot of them. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Yeah, we're going to be seeing some hot weather and also some very steep. And active because it's getting mm -hmm. later in the season. They're getting warm out there, yeah? Yes, they are. All right, thank Top you. All the details. Um, talk about a deal that's too good to be true. How about nine dollars ninety nine cents for a fifty two inch high def TV? Cha ching! That was briefly the price listed on Best Buy's website yesterday morning. Shop. You know, it seems more workers are looking ahead to the future, and it's some good news in a bad economy. So we will talk about a boost in retirement savings. And the. We always salute our troops. Today's salute is from a proud father to a son serving now overseas. Go ahead. Justice officials are denying reports that the man who bombed Pan Am Flight 103 will be freed from prison. The former... More than 2 million Americans are breast cancer survivors. And this morning we have a story that could mean a big... So, just today in the makeup room, are, is the recession really over? That was the question from one of the makeup artists because there is so much speculation right now from the pointy heads that the recession is over. <laughs> Jennifer Westowen has more on that. They are pointy heads. <laughs> but, and, and I don't mean the makeup artists. I mean the people who do the math. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the pointy head guys with the, you know, pocket protector. Okay, I admit this is pretty silly. Some folks doing the ice cream and cake dance. Didn't know there was such a dance. It's so goofy that more than half a million people have gone online to watch it. Sometimes you just have to watch today's hot fire. Yeah. A lawmaker who is against the White House's proposed health care reform is hearing from his constituents. Okay, so a famous basketball coach is uh, apologizing and owning up to having an indiscretion with a woman who is accused of trying to extort money from him. Raven with more on that story. And Robin, that extortion case is the reason this is coming out now because she was charged with that a few months ago, and then police interviewed her. And <laughs> I'd hate to be the one, the, the practice guy, to see where she went to the pool. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, something to think about as you wait for your plane today. Hi, Chris. Good morning, Robin. I think uh, if you're flying... Good morning, Bright Eyes. 24 minutes past the hour. So it looks like former Vice President Dick Cheney's memoir will be a tell-all. The Washington Post says, anyway, that he's expected to talk about how he believes that President George W. Bush began turning away from his advice and giving in to public sentiment during his second term. According to Cheney's biographer, Cheney said that he always publicly supported President Bush, even when he didn't agree with him, and that he wants to share his views. Birmingham wants to pardon anyone who violated segregation law decades ago. City records show that more than a thousand people were arrested during the 1963 civil rights demonstrations. Most were fined at least $100 or sentenced to jail time, but it's unclear how many people actually paid the fines. After months of lessons in... Just the way they walk, so cute. The family of a New York City man who died of swine flu complications is planning a $40 million wrongful death lawsuit. Mitchell Weiner was an assistant principal. His family says that the city and the schools did not give proper warning about the H1N1 outbreak or how to control it. Now, Mayor Michael Bloomberg says that he's sorry about the death, but that the city didn't do anything wrong. Have you ever wondered what life was like in the world of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Lisa Bloom and the folks over at Showbiz have an inside look, plus American Idol. What else? Those are some of our headlines today. Morning, Thursdays connected to Friday. Let's just tell ourselves that. I'm Robin Mead. Good to see you. We're learning more as more of them. The number of foreclosure filings rose dramatically last month. And our money expert, Jennifer Westhoven, um, is here. She's going to give us context on the number. So you hear people saying the recession might be over. The recession might be over. Right. Man, that is one downer of an indicator. This is like, you know, the fly in the ointment. <laughs> hate to see where wildlife and, and, and people mix, you know, because you, you know that means that we're building in areas probably where they live. The, po the poor guy is probably just looking for the bare necessities. <laughs> That's it? Nothing? <laughs> okay, I was waiting to see what you wanted. You got a reaction. You got a reaction. You're looking at the fire weather out west, too. Yeah, you know, you showed that great video, that fire out there across. Chris, thank you. Um,
fly all you want for a month. All you want for just a few hundred dollars. Good morning. Why don't we look at the papers together, but I'll do all the work, okay? I used to live there. Those are the papers. You know, the very popular Cash for Clunkers program helps cops catch an alleged hit and run driver. This is, I think this is going to be one of your favorite stories today, if I can be so bold to say it. This is like an all-you-can-eat buffet for travelers. An airline is offering you the chance to fly as much as you want for one price. Our money expert, Jennifer Westoven. Okay, details, details. You know, I, this is... We, had the, we were talking about game changing with General Motors. You think these things, but to tell your boss. It, for them to come out of your mouth. Right. <laughs> well, it just makes me wonder what your coworker's saying about you if, if you're so bold as to go say this to your boss. And, well, I don't know. Her hair's too big. Make sure her butt matches her hair. Cop slash Robin. Try to get him on the That's air. That's interesting. Ten, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're learning the details of one of the most bizarre and salacious sports stories of the year. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is using recent U.S. history to encourage democracy in Africa, in Nigeria. I know this is the time that we have a lot of people watching at the airports today. Is it a good day for air travel? Chris is in for Bob. Morning. Mo good morning, Robin. The East Coast... A famous coach admits now to having an indiscretion with a woman in a restaurant, and we're learning more details about the salacious story. Honey, I thought we knew all the details, but no. No, no, there is more details, Robin. And uh, the, the latest one is that Louisville men's basketball coach Rick Pitino came out. Sorry, right, thank you very much. Hey, how do you get a monkey to, to, to like you? Apparently, act like one of them. A news... <laughs> We have new details about one of the deadliest wrecks in police chase history. He had to move out of their house after it started to sink. You can see the floor. Again, that was Dan Bewley reporting from affiliate KOTV. Mr. Franklin says that he's only missed two days of class in all those years. $9.99 for a big, big screen.